Well, anyone who lives on the Henderson side of town knows what's been happening. Uh, probably the most talked about um, redesign and build in the area this year, for sure. What is being built is, of course, a state-of-the-art sports and entertainment venue. It is called the Dollar Loan Center. It is up. It is happening. And we want to tell everyone what's in store. It is a nicer and larger venue than at least one NHL franchise we'll be playing in next year. It is the Dollar Loan Center, Henderson, Nevada. That's where you can find it. And Carrie Bubel is joining <laughs> us now, the president and CEO of the Golden Knights. How are you, my friend? Good to see you. Hey, we're doing fantastic. Thanks for having us. And we, we love talking about our favorite uh, favorite new building in Henderson. So I uh, really, appreciate you having me today. You know what? I'll tell you, I, sure. I know people within the Knights organization that are raving about it. I know people and that's fine. You know, they're on the they're on the payroll. The ones that aren't on the payroll are also saying they love it. The ones that have gone to the Nighthawks games that I've uh, I've seen so far really uh, above and beyond. They, they say it's just amazing. Let's talk about the Dollar Loan Center uh, there in Henderson. It's more than just a, a sports venue, you say? Yeah, no, for sure. Um, you know, it's, this has been a two-year journey for us. Uh, we started this process in, in uh, early spring of 2020, ultimately got it approved uh, with the city in May of 2020. And then uh, by October, we were starting construction of and demolition of the old Henderson Pavilion. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's at the exact same site. It's about a 13 acre property. The facility itself, uh, now that it's complete, uh, it's just terrific. So it'll house uh, our American Hockey League team, the Silver Knights, our new indoor football league team, the Nighthawks, which mm -hmm. uh, played their first game last Friday. And then, of course, a lot of other uh, community events, concerts. Uh, and it really is a unique uh, uh, facility because we can also program on the outdoor area, which is what we call the tilt yard, um, with uh, our actually our first farmers market is going to be this Friday. So awesome. uh, we'll be able to oh. do outdoor and indoor events uh, right in that same location again at the corner of Paseo Verde and Green Valley Parkway. And it really is. Uh, I'm I'm just so proud of the venue because um, it's got such a great family feel to it, and uh, we're looking forward to putting more events in there. And Carrie, I have to admit, I'm a big outdoor lover. So I was at the stoplight right at the corner there and I was peeping at that outdoor area. And I was hoping that, you know, you were developing that to, to hold events. And so I'm so thrilled to hear about this farmer's market. You're also going to be having comedy there, community events. I mean, the possibilities are really endless. I think this is very exciting, not just for sports lovers, but for the whole uh, side of town. Yeah, that, that really was a big piece for the city of Henderson for their investment. Um, their residents are really what make that community so special. And they wanted to make that investment on their behalf and, and make sure that there were a lot of events that, again, families could attend at a very reasonable price. And, uh, and like, like I said, I think we've got the right mix in terms of size, um, but also the ability to accommodate, as you said, you know, multiple events. So there really is no uh, limit to what we can do. Uh, as long as uh, as long as we um, are able to kind of bring the event together with what we need to do to to put the show on, and so we're we're like I said, we're just extremely excited about it. It's a terrific facility, and uh, can't wait to get more more events going. We've got our second football game this weekend. We had the Big West Conference basketball tournament mm -hmm. uh, March eighth through the twelfth, which was a lot of fun as well. If you're a college basketball lover. And so just uh, a lot of great things happening there at the Dollar Loan Center. Which is so cool. Is there any uh, similarities from uh, Dollar Loan Center and T-Mobile Arena? Anything? Uh, yeah, I, I, I said mm. Section 220. There's not that many seats at the Dollar Loan Center, but it's still a pretty, pretty sizable place. Yeah, no, there, we, we took a lot of the things that we really like about T-Mobile um, and, uh, and then just tried to make it in a more intimate environment, you know, going, going from 18,000 seats uh, to 6,000. And then, uh, and then we traveled around the country. We looked at some other college hockey facilities, and we really wanted to find a building that uh, would provide, again, that intimate environment for sports, but that flexibility for all of the other community events that we want to have. And then adding that exterior piece that I mentioned on the front end that really allows for the indoor-outdoor uh, festivals and activities as part of the whole complex. For sure, because especially this time of year, we have uh, such Beautiful weather in town. 6,000 seats um, sounds, you know, big, but a little more intimate um, than some of the other venues in town. So this is exciting. There, there was something called a modern medieval approach when you were uh, developing this stadium. T tell me what that means. 
Yeah, just real quickly, you know, you, you got the Golden Knights, you've got the Silver Knights, you've got the Nighthawks. Uh, Medieval is a big part of our show and our brand and our storytelling. We wanted to bring that to life inside the Dollar Loan Center. So we don't have elevators, we have hoists. We don't have suites, we have chambers. We don't have restrooms, we have throne rooms. And then the, it's not the plaza, it's the tilt yard. And so really just taking that theming. And so you'll see it with graphics. So a lot of visual uh, rep representation, uh, but also the actual naming itself inside the building from a wayfinding perspective, which gives it that unique feel. It really is cool. You know, and going okay. going with that theme, I think Sean and I would be footmen probably, and you as the COO, <laughs> don't, do you have a special title in, in King, the medieval the night King, theme? King, I would think would you would. You, you know, I haven't King. thought about that, but uh, we may have to come up with one. Um, all, all the way down, <laughs> even the uniforms for the staff um, that, you know, we've got some really cool uh, uniforms that uh, that kind of bring that modern medieval to life as well. Um, but it's, it's something you got to see. It's so cool, man. I'm just trying to think of like how this city was five years ago to where it is now. It's just like <laughs> unbelievable how far we've come. And it's in big part, thanks to your organization. Great to have you, Carrie. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, Thank I really you, appreciate the time today. Yeah, come on out. Dollar Loan Center, a uh, beautiful, beautiful place. Absolutely. If you want to learn more, by the way, about the property, it's thedollarloancenter.com. Dollarloancenter.com will get you a loan. The Dollar Loan Center will get you the newest venue in Las Vegas.